Hey guys, what's up? How are you doing? Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. Um, so I have um, a channeled message for you, if you want to call it that. But um, over the past 48 hours, I've picked up on a vision that's kind of been growing. And so now it's transformed into a very clear message. So um, that's through conversations with other people as well as, um, you know, associations that I've made with music that I've been listening to. I've noticed within, you know, within the last two weeks, there seems to be a, a very heavy energy, especially when you've listened to my last video. Wow. Very strong energy. Um, and it's also coming through on my, um, uh, in my private readings as well. Nikki, I love you, girl. Um, uh, I gave her a, a reading the other day and, you know, it was, it almost felt like a slap in the face from spirit. You know, it was very heavy, very hard. Um, and I question whether or not I should, you know, give her the message. But I knew deep down inside she would be able to see through the pain that the reading, you know, was emitting, see to, to the truth of the connection that she had with her masculine. You know, in her heart she knew that he was her true twin flame, her true love. So, you know, for me that was a very, it was an eye opener, a, a learning experience, that's for sure. And then after that, more epiphanies kind of um, surfaced. For example, um, oh my gosh, I can't remember your name. It starts with Lou, so I'm, I'm assuming that his his first name is Louie, uh, but you'll know who I'm talking to <laughs> uh, when you hear this, Louie, I think your name is, um, that, okay, I had put out a video by Tool a couple of days ago uh, called Right In Two, and it talks about how, you know, humanity um, has gone into this darkened state um, where, um, you know, war is a way to make money and, you know, there's a lot of hatred and fighting and it's glorified, um, you know, and then there's these angels on the sideline watching this and they feel helpless. They can't do anything about it. And so, you know, that's kind of how I've been feeling it's like you know there's so much destruction and hurt and pain and you know that kind of stuff and it's you know you feel helpless to make any changes but just being in the light changes the vibration of your um, you know your environment and it echoes out like the butterfly effect so you know, it's all about focus. What do you choose to see? Do you see the world as coming apart or do you see it as coming together? And, you know, that theme of coming apart, um, you know, is what I'm talking about. That's been really strong for the past couple of weeks. It's like a feeling of need to separate from your twin flame. Um, you know, feeling helpless, like you can't do anything to change um, the dynamic, it feels like it's going nowhere. So that theme came up a lot. Like the, fe the feminine's feeling like it's going around in circles where the masculine is actually coming towards her. And, you know, so she's not really seeing reality for what it is. She's creating this illusion of abandonment and um, rejection. You know, and so out of self-preservation, she is running. So the dynamics have changed now. 
the feminine is now taking on a role of the runner and the masculine is moving towards her. Not necessarily a chaser, but more of an observer. Um, anyway, the video that I put out, uh, Tuo, there was a conversation that I had with Louis. Wow, I'm ADHD. Um, and we were talking about, you know, it was, he made a comment and it was just a random comment and just really like hit me like a stone. Um, he uh, quoted a movie, um, you know, Bram Stoker's Dracula, See Me, See Me Now, and then he left a link, um, you know, for the scene. And I was like, what the fuck? What, how, why? I don't, you know, I was like totally floored. I'm like, wow, that is my absolute favorite movie. I can recite the whole thing, you know, off the top of my mind. And, you know, it, not too many people know about that movie, only people that are very close to me. So it caught my attention right away. And, you know, we talked about the movie a little bit. And, you know, I finally asked, I said, well, why did you choose that quote? And he, he responded by saying something like, well, you know, I don't really know why I did it. It was my intuition. And maybe... You know, I did it to remind myself that um, your twin, my twin is always with me. You know, see me, see me now is, um, it's like, see that I'm here. I'm, I'm right before you. You know, that's what he was saying. He's like, you know, your twin is always with you. Um, open up your eyes and see me. I'm standing right there. And then, he got shivers when he wrote it, and I was like, okay, I'll look around the, you know, the back of my shoulder kind of thing, make sure he's not standing there. You know, that's how powerful that feeling was. And so, it, you know, immediately I envisioned the masculine standing there in power, in strength, in, you know, as an observer and almost amused at how the feminine has been acting. You know, the last video that I put out, the feminine was giving up. She was walking away. She's like, fuck it. Come and get me. If you want me, come, come and get me. You know, or at least meet me halfway. You know, so it was like she was giving up and walking away. And the energy that I was pulling out of the readings lately is she's like, she's like, oh, what the fuck was I thinking? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to walk away from this. This is my twin flame. So it was disempowering and um, humbling because she realized that she is not as strong as she thinks she is. And you know, as far as it come, as far as it goes uh, towards her twin flame, right? She is pretty much powerless when it comes to him. And he, you know, and then I got this vision of him just kind of laughing and saying, you can't run away, bro. <laughs> you know, what were you thinking? Um, so, and it's almost like he was looking at her like, you're adorable. That's freaking hilarious. And she in turn is kind of like feeling like uh, like a freak on a leash you know I corn okay corn has been the energy that I have been vibrating with for the past two weeks corn and tool you know very heavy metal a very profound very um, frustrated um, energy so I'll leave a link um, in the description box below. Um, so she's feeling like a freak on a leash. You know, it's like, or a moth or a, you know, a, a firefly in a jar. It's like she's ping, 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 trying to, you know, separate or disconnect from the masculine or run. And there's just absolutely no way that she can do it. You know, so it's very humbling. Um, and what I'm feeling from that 
is a deep release, a deep knowing about your connection with your twin flame. You know, the masculine is appearing as this grounded, um, unmoving, solid pillar of strength. And, you know, it's, wow, the vision that I have of, of him is just so beautiful. And it makes me humbled um, to see that kind of power. You know, lately, the frustration that I was picking up on is coming from the fact that the feminine is now viewing, or was viewing, hold on, <coughs> sorry, a little tickle in my throat there. Um, was viewing the masculine as being, you know, uh, weak, you know, n uh, him wanting something and not having the power or the strength to, to take it, when in reality he is, you know, that pillar, that unmoving um, foundation. So I'm hoping that this um, message <clears throat> will come out in the reading. Um, it, it would, it's been very strong. So, um, you know, especially with the September 11th yesterday, that, um, also really tuned me in and focused me into this sense of destruction. Um, you know, with, uh, corn coming undone, that song coming undone, it's like these walls are coming down and the truth is being revealed. Hold on, I'm gonna have to pause the video. My throat is so ticklish right now, so I will reshuffle the cards when I come back on. Okay, sorry about that. Usually when my throat gets that ticklish, um, the throat chakra is activated, so something needs to be said or uh, communication is very important. So anyway, um, yeah, I feel that there's been this quantum shift the feminine is now the runner and the masculine is the chaser, but it is, it happened so quickly and there was balance so quickly that, you know, there was hardly time to blink is what I would, I'm feeling. So hopefully that made sense to you guys. So anyway, I'm going to be doing a new spread that came to me as well. Um, so I think I'm going to call this, uh, the yin yang. So it's actually the shape of a heart. So the feminine side will be on this side and then the masculine on that side. So, you know, in reality, it is just, um, you know, a vision of your own heart, your own, um, you know, soul. You have the masculine and feminine side. So that would reflect those aspects of yourself, or if you'd like, um, you know, see that as your, your counterpart, twin flame. All right. So I'm going to pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the positions, okay? So what I have here is um, the John Holland Psychic Tarot, John Holland Psychic Tarot, the heart, and that way we can... Um, Play with two decks. Let's do that. Just want to make sure I have enough space here. Oh, it doesn't really look like a heart, does it? Okay. Okay. And I already shuffled, so for the masculine side. Okay, so um, the middle here will be like a crowning um, foundation and heart-centered energy. So I'm going to be using the Call It Bear Reed uh, Wisdom of the Oracle.
And finally, Miss and Mermaids. So, um, the message from the universe. All right, let's begin. So, we'll begin with the feminine side. I always begin with the feminine. Um, so, this will be... I might have to lay the cards down as we go. Actually, let's start doing that now. Um, this is going to be um, how she views herself. Five of Swords, conflict and defeat. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, she feels defeated. This energy showed up two days ago of her walking away, um, feeling like she's giving a lot of herself, not receiving anything in return. So it's not being reciprocated. And so she feels helpless and, you know, <clears throat> she made a choice to walk away. You know, it's, it's like she was assessing the loss and gains and realizing that um, it was better, you know, to lose than to, to win at this pointless battle. But the battle is... is is uh, occurring within herself. You know, she's creating these illusions in her own mind, right? So, wow. Okay, so this is how she views the masculine or how she feels about the masculine. Aw, that's awesome. So the Sun card is the most positive card in the deck. She feels that she is the center of the sun. She feels powerful. She feels beautiful. She feels illuminated. She feels childlike. You know, at the heart of who she is, she knows that this connection makes her come alive. Right, so this is such a beautiful card. And it's like she's reaching up to touch the masculine. You know, he's a beautiful star in the sky, basically. So uh, the 19 reduces to 1. So she, <clears throat> she, re she desires a new beginning with the masculine. Um, she wants to return to this innocent state. Okay, so how does she view the relationship or the connection? Wow, Ace of Swords. So, you know, it says triumph, success, triumph and success. So this, you know, is a masculine hand also that's kind of reaching out. So this represents, you know, um, success. She feels that this um, relationship is successful. Um, she knows what her truth is. This is um, mental clarity, making a decision, cutting away barriers, darkness. So that what I see is just utter clarity. You know, it's unwavering. So what I feel, you know, especially what I, with the story that I shared with you at the beginning of the video is that she made a realization, had an epiphany, came to a truth, knowing about this connection. Okay, so what does she fear? Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. She fears, she fears the masculine. That's why she's running. The, you know, the couple weeks ago or yeah, the last reading that I did for, what was it? Um, September or sorry, August the 31st or something like that until September 14th. So we're still in that energy. 
there was a sense of him taking the lead, taking control, expressing his love and loyalty. You know, so if some feminines felt that energy from the masculine, there, you know, it might have triggered her into this running response out of fear, out of this you know, seeing the masculine for who he truly is. And remember the, the story that I told you at the beginning, that he's that pillar of strength. This card represents a firm foundation, grounded energy. I'm not going anywhere. And he's, you know, slightly amused at her attempt, her feeble attempt to run away. Yeah, it's almost like he's holding that sword. There's, you know, that sword of truth, of justice. Crazy. Okay, so, um, what would she like? What does she want? Nine of Pentacles. Material harvest. So this is, um, it's an arrival. It is a manifestation in the 3D reality. It is abundance coming in. It is very grounded energy. Energy. It's a nine, so it's nearing the completion. So the 10 is just around the corner. She wants to feel grounded. She wants to feel safe and secure. She wants to be looked after. She wants to be showered down with gifts she wants to accept those gifts. She's put a lot of work um, into her own soul growth as well as her, you know, soul purpose. You know, so when this card shows up, it generally means that a harvest or that, you know, what you've been waiting for, what you've been wanting for, uh, what you ah, I cannot freaking talk. What you've been wanting is coming. This card also represents ripeness, independence, being ready. And so she wants to arrive at that point where she knows wholeheartedly that this connection is going to manifest. And, you know, she's not hearing that or not knowing is kind of causing her to stumble away and give up. Okay, let me put that up there. Um, so I'm gonna leave this card. Um, this is what will be. So um, we'll pull these two cards together. So for the masculine, um, how does, how is he feeling at the moment? Eight of Pentacles, nice. Dedicated effort, awesome. So what she wants is stability, groundedness. And how he's feeling is he wants to give that effort, that dedication, that work. Um, he has been doing his own soul growth as well. The Eight of Pentacles is success, um, abundance, stability, uh, sharing your abundance, um, feeling grounded enough that you can, you know, splurge on yourself, uh, look after yourself, but you have to be careful, you know, not to overindulge. Uh, there's a sense of moving forward, positive movement forward in the 3D reality. So you desire this energy of working, of manifesting in your life. In reality, the masculine is doing that. He desires that too. There's a masculine here who is putting the final um, touches on this beautiful work of art and some feminine and masculine coming together in union and it's manifested in the 3D. 
Wow. Do I say wow a lot? Sorry. Um, so how does the masculine view or feel about the feminine? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh my God. You guys saw me shuffle, right? Okay. So same card. Look how strong he is. Look how powerful he is. So this is how he views the feminine. He views her as this pillar of strength, this tower, unmovable, grounded. Whoa. Um, and as a result, he can see how strong he is. He sees himself through her eyes. So this is the emperor, by the way. Okay, so how does he view or feel about the relationship? Two pentacles, finding balance. So he's actually providing balance. The feminine tries to run away. He releases tension, you know, because we're connected, 5D connection, we're, we're all connected. But the link to your masculine or feminine is especially strong, it's unbreakable. You are two souls uh, that are one. You know, you share the same soul. Jack Johnson. So, Yes, at the moment, he he feels that there are changes manifesting in his 3D reality. Um, you know, it's a wind of, of change that's flowing in, and it is feeling, it is making him and her both feel uneasy, but he is holding that grounded energy. Okay. Uh, hopefully I'm not messing these cards up. Okay, so what does he fear? Okay, let me look at this. Sorry, guys. Uh, so what does he fear? I might have to pull another card. Am I missing one here? Um, okay, so herself, him, relationship, fear, want, and what will be, um, him, her, relationship, uh, fear, yeah, okay, oh, sorry, fear, um, want, and what will be, okay, so, all right, cool. Why is it not lining up? What am I not seeing here? I'm, oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> I might, I might actually, you know, stop the video and cut that whole ADHD scene out of, out of it. But, <laughs> you, you know, you can tell how, oh my God, the throat chakra. <laughs> oh my God, I'm such a loser. Okay, anyway, um, the Ace of Swords, right, is a very important communication card. And here we have the throat chakra. And again, I mentioned at the big beginning of the video that, you know, the, the throat chakra would, um, was very important. So not only am I having a difficult time speaking, I'm also getting tickles in my throat and um, not making any sense whatsoever. Alrighty. So what does he fear? He fears expressing himself. She needs to hear the truth from you. She needs to know that you love her. And through this reading, you can definitely see how you, you, how much you do love her. You're not going anywhere. So you're holding space for the feminine. 
but is it is this inability to fully express yourself holding back your emotions your feelings your ideas your beliefs your you know adventures including her in your life Seriously, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. What the fuck? Okay, anyway. Um, so for what does he want? He wants to stop feeling alone. He wants the feminine to come home. He wants her to stop trying to run okay so this is what will be so I'll pull the feminine first four of cups so this is disconnect and boredom feeling like things have gone stagnant you can see she's turned her back on the connection So it's very similar to this card up here. The way she's feeling is defeated and like she wants to walk away. What will be is that energy, but it will have an emotional ring to it. This is thoughts. This is emotions. And for the masculine, wow, coming together, two of cups, spiritual union. So <clears throat> the um, video that I just put out, there was a theme that the feminine was not seeing. She could not see how much the masculine loves her and is moving towards her. And he desires her. And so this is the outcome, what will be. What he wants is to, is for her feminine to come home, for them to be together. And there, this is a 5D reality as well. There's a lot of pinnacle energy right now. So, spiritual union. Recognizing your twin flame. And this is having the heart chakra opening up, which activates higher levels of consciousness. So there is a blockage here with the throat chakra. So I invite you masculines to open, your, open up, express yourself, and feminine stop running. Okay, so I'm going to read these cards here. So we'll begin with uh, the foundation and then the crowning. Breathe. So as a foundation, there is this calming feeling and it's coming from the masculine. Feminine needs to turn around and see that the masculine is standing right there. He's right in front of her sees you. Okay, just turn around. He's in front of you and he's behind you. He's all around you. See. See the light that's surrounding you. Feel that love. You guys, even though you're not connected in the 3D, you are connected in the 5D. See me, see me now. Okay, so breathe, number 29. Patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, and trust. The Oracle message. Patience in all things is called for right now. 
What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving element of water, or sorry, of air to replenish your body, your being, your very essence. Stop to smell the roses. Breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear. So release that feeling of entrapment, um, constriction, fear, running. Take a deep breath and let it go. So the relationship message, don't be in too much of a hurry right now. The heart needs time to open. Take a breath and let nature take its course. Release constriction and anxiety, for there is no need for tension. Savor the moment. The waiting won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in a deep and meaningful way. Okay, so the crowning energy is a change in the wind. That's what I was saying up here. There's a change. There's a wind flowing through the reading. So the foundation crowning and heart-centered energy is obviously union energy. So it's shared energy between the two of you. Okay, so change in the wind. A sense that... Unseen change has been initiated. Preparations for storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow. And that's <clears throat> what I was picking up over here, right? That uncertainty, not knowing, is causing her to run. Um, the Oracle message. It's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change. To want the world to remain consistent like the zebra stripe, stripes. Yet nothing in human experience is black and white, nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving, temporar bleh, temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil for better things ahead. Life is about, getting, is about to get interesting. Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming in on the shifting wind. The unknown is where the magic lies. So the, <clears throat> the relationship message. Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other. And stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Yep, yep. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth, a way for you to understand your heart better and to know what you need to, to be, what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come of it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from drama. The air will clear and everything will be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. So it, Spirit is asking you to surrender to it. Take a deep breath. Allow that wind to transform your reality. Heart-centered energy. Wow. Around and around. And that's what I was saying. It feels like, you know, the feminine feels like things are just going in circles. And there's absolutely nothing that she can do to stop it. And, and so she's stumbling away. And that kind of, rem, you know, reminds me of another thing that I've been going through. Um, <clears throat> I actually put a post on Facebook for it and then I took it down right away because I didn't want to send any negative vibrations out. Um, but there's this really creepy dude who lives about five houses down and he keeps keeping my cat. And he's just like, you just get a really bad vibe when you go around him. It's like, yeah, come get your cat. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh my God, don't touch my cat. <laughs> you know, but these, of course, are my projections, right? My own, you know, inner 
negative emotions are being projected on this this guy. I mean, he could be very well be a nice guy, but actions speak louder than words. Anyway, so um, I forbid my kids from going over there anymore, and you know I can't go over there anymore. It's just no, that's not happening. So um, every once in a while, Diamond shows up at our our door. Um, so you know, a neighborhood kid will catch the cat or my neighbor. So everybody knows <clears throat> where the cat is, but now he's denying the cat's there. Anyway, long story short is there's this feeling of, um, it's like a, I feel this sickness inside of me when I think of how helpless I feel when my cat goes over there. He's a willing participant. The little fucker goes over there he's happy to go over there because there's awesome food being left out on the deck right so you know it's like this cat keeps putting himself back in the same situation over and over again and I feel helpless and it's frustrating you know so that's what I was really feeling with this it's like okay fuck it cat you know go live over there then you know it's like you gotta let let it be free so um, that's what I was kind of picking up with that energy with the feminine. You know, she's like, okay, fuck it. I, I get it. I can't change anything. Things just keep going round and round and round. There's, you know, a lot of love there, but nothing ever happens. Right? So she got off the, um, what do you call it? The Ferris wheel or... Anyway, um, yeah, but she, when she got off and walked away, she thought she could disconnect. She thought she can cut the masculine out completely. And it's, you know what I mean? No matter which way she goes, he's there. Okay, so round and round, number 25. Oops, okay. The spiral quality of events when lessons, when a lesson isn't quite integrated, cycles your challenge to break. Revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. Yep. The appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backwards, the truth is that you're standing at a higher level, looking down into your circumstances. Yep. You will learn, or sorry, you will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can access the wisdom and le lessons learned. Yes, yes. So the relationship message. Are you wondering, how did I get here again? Yup. Does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar? Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her um, qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to this person through pr the perfection of Spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but that's fine as, as you get to do things again only differently this time for you learned something of great value since the last time around yes I did um, how will you choose to behave now that you are aware remain curious and stay out of the blame game all right so the last two cards are a message from the universe so the feminine got Hamadryad Lake and the masculine La Serena. Cool. So it's like there's this. A, so this is like a death, a transformation. And this is 
I think, a feeling of abandonment. Well, let's read it anyway. Okay, so number 32. The lake. She looks alluring, home to fairy folk and frogs. Yet beneath the placid glass lies an enchantress in the bog. She drinks her fill of innocence and sups upon her soul, withering sense of self until her bowels are full. A vulnerable nymph rests herself beside a mystical lake. It is a beautiful, magical place, and she finds herself drawn into a false sense of security, not knowing of the deception waiting for her below the surface. Deception and enchantment. A female with bad designs will seek to lead you astray when you are most vulnerable. She may be enchanting, but do not al allow her to lure you down the improper path. Um, Though you may feel defenseless, know that as long as you stay true to yourself, you will not be led astray. Keep your wits about you. The nefer nefarious female in question may not be a stranger. She may be someone you already know whose goals are at odds with your own. Whether she is a trusted colleague, a long-time acquaintance, or a dazzling new friend, do not be deceived by the glamour of what she proposes. If a situation sounds too good to be true, trust your gut instinct it is a deception so what I'm feeling here is that sh she's listening to her shadow side these lies these feelings of abandonment and rejection are taking its toll she's starting to believe it she she is she doesn't see Okay, and La Serena. Remember those who have come and passed, loves that lingered but couldn't last, questions raised but never asked, lulls the enchanting mermaid song. Remember joys from long ago, friends you now no longer know, dreams you had no time to sow, her words are tempting but ring wrong. A captivating mermaid preparing for the Day of the Dead is decked out with tiny skulls and flowers. She is seductive and enchanting, singing a song that is alluring but dangerous. Do not get dizzy with songs of the mermaid. Um, remember to honor loved ones and your past, but do not get swallowed up in memories. Do not forget to live in the present and plan for the future, or you will be doomed to live in the shadow of others. Bear in mind, the past shines brighter in your memories than reality ever can. Do not be deceived into falsely remembering what has come before. Uh, the saying, the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence, applies to time as well as space. Remain grounded in the present, not mired in the past or intoxicated with what could have been. A life lived fully in the present with a healthy reverence for the past and an optimistic eye on the future is of the best balance. Do not let the mermaid of remembrance be value. So this is, it's pointing to how strong the masculine is, being in the moment, being in the now, knowing his, tr his truth, and not listening to those voices. You know, here the feminine is kind of like hunched forward, like she's in pain and fear um, and weak, and the masculine is like, okay, um, yeah, go ahead, give it a, your best shot, you know, I'm, I'm the divine masculine, I'm not going anywhere, you know, so nothing can change his mind. All right, so... I hope that um, this helps. Uh, it was a pretty powerful reading for me. Um, and please let me know. Um, leave a message or a comment in the comment section. Um, I do read them all. And I. this is how I get the energy. Uh, this is how I'm able to do the readings is through the comments. I pick up your energy, your vibration that you're sending out into the universe. Um, so we need to shift perspective and realize that the masculine is standing right there in front of you. So see him. 
see me, see me now. Oh, I love Gary Ullman. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, um, what else did I want to mention? Uh, I'm almost caught up in the readings. Um, so I'm going to be doing the next round of booking. Um, so I should hopefully be caught up um, by Friday. So if I haven't responded to your, to your email and if you've sent payment, um, know that I will respond as soon as I can. And I think that's all I wanted to mention. All right, guys, I love you. Peace.